I suppose I've never really seen a colour as being my favourite. It's always probably the next colour that uh, you weren't really expecting. That quite often is the colour that I find most interesting. Inspiration is something that is a, it's a moving thing. It's something that changes nearly every minute of the day. Quite often it's just noticing something. It's just going, I never saw that before. At the moment, what I find really in, in, inspiring is taking time. A lot of my work, I suppose, is not done in the actual studio painting. It's actually staring at things. And when you give yourself the time and the lack of noise to do that and just stare and let yourself absorb, the great thing is, is that you actually notice it. You go, fuck, that was a moment. Just the act of painting itself is what I get huge energy from. I just love it because I have no idea where it's going to take me. I have no idea where the painting's going to end up and the painting might take two hours, it might take two weeks. My paintings took a huge turn after my, my own father died and I don't know why. I think I just let it happen um, and I found myself being drawn to painting horizons um, and quite often when I think of them or I talk about them or I'm shouting at them, um, I actually find myself staring at horizons and in my world I suppose that's where his, maybe his spirit lives or his soul is and uh, one day maybe I'll be there with him. I remember nearly every brush stroke of every painting. I remember exactly what I was doing, I remember the time, the date, I remember. So I look back and they, they nearly, you can follow a train of thought and um, quite often a lot of them though are trained of dark thoughts and <laughs> sadness, but, uh, which I think is okay. I'm not funny when I'm addicted to it. I suppose it's a bit selfish because it's me and my own painting and selfish. There you go, Irish guilt. Guilt, guilt about painting already. Managed to get that in. <laughs> Still think for me what I thrive in and love is things that are slightly chaotic. I think it's the interesting thing of putting things together that shouldn't be together, that are just randomly there and you can make beauty out of it. Because everything out there is actually comes from just random stuff that just happens to bump into each other and make things lovely. There are no shortcuts. Sometimes you've just got to keep doing something and working at it and stop trying to plan what the answer is in your art. You've really just got to let it happen. I'm hoping that I will give myself the space, the time, the permission to see what the next bit is, because that's what I find exciting. That's going to be inspirational, whatever it is. And whether anyone else likes it but me, I don't know. But that doesn't really matter. I always want to do that.